Magic Q version 1970 beta has now been released. There's some great new features in this version, so download it now, take a look at the change notes. We're going to run through and take a look at some of the features now. Uh, first off, let's jump into Magic Q. Uh, reminder of my change notes here. Uh, what have I got? Well, function types. We've done a lot of work in 1970 function types as you'll read uh, function types as you'll read in the change notes. If I jump back to Magic Q here. Uh, well, what about function types? Well, I've patched in something like the Chevy Professional Color Strike M. For those that don't know it, it's a tilting strobe, which has also got color plates around it. Um, so it's got different functions. Uh, we also uh, treat things, maybe it's a wash light of an, an LED ring around it, an eye candy ring around. That would be a different function. So it's fixtures with different functions inside it. The Color Strike M has got one function, which is a strobe, another function, which is the color plate. So when I patch these, you'll automatically get some extra groups. And we name these now rather than just calling them function one and two as we did before. So you can see I patched in 10 color strike M's and it's given me groups for uh, the plate and the beam. In 1970, we have a select function soft button along the top up here where I can select the group and I can go, okay, well quickly give me the color plate or quickly give me the beam without me having to find my subgroups. Uh, what we've also done is worked a lot on how things like morphing uh, of these more complex heads would work. Now, if I take you behind the scenes uh, and go into our head editor, so I'm going to go to the patch window, I'm going to go to view heads, and I'm going to go to uh, edit head um, on my color strike M. So I'm going to grab the color strike M's, edit them here. Uh, if I go along the top to view other, and I go to functions, you can see uh, you can now have up to 16 different functions on a head. Now, that would be a very complicated head with more than with up to 16 functions on it. The color strike M has two functions. It's got the color plate and the strobe bit in the middle. We've now added some different types. Now this helps when I want to morph between these different fixture types. If I was going from, uh, as we see many of our users doing, going from say a Color Strike M to the JDC1 fixture, well the number of elements changes, so it's not a simple mapping. It's not like me saying, okay, elements one to 14, map to elements one to 14 on the JDC1, because you'd get it wrong. Uh, the Color Strike M has more color plates than the JDC1 has. So if I do that philosophy, I'd end up with uh, part of a strobe now acting as some of my color. So what we now do is define the different functions or the elements uh, within the functions. So you can see here, I've set the plate. Its type is set to RGB main. We have three options, RGB main, uh, strobe, or uh, RGB eye candy, that's for sort of rings around the wash light, or undefined if it doesn't fit in that category. What I then do uh, is select the number of emitters uh, I can do for colors there, um, but um, if needed, if it was color, um, but it's respecting now the function number here. So function one is the plate, function two is the beam. If I go back to the channels view here, you can see function one uh, and two down the side here. So one relating to the plate and beam uh, two here. Now, uh, Acanthus here would have set most of this for you. So you shouldn't need to go into the head editor. We've been working very hard to update head files. Um, so this hard work's been done for you. But what it means then as a programmer is when you come to morph these fixtures, we're going to use this data. We're going to morph based on the functions uh, rather than just the element numbers. So it should move, make moving between these different fixture types much more convenient and help you out there. Uh, what else have we introduced? Uh, chunks. Uh, in 1970, we've introduced what we're calling chunks, and it's a different way of sub-selecting fixtures. Uh, so let me go back to my layout one screen here. I'm going to select group seven, which is my spots, and just locate them to bring them on. You can see they're highlighted in red in my viz just to show you which ones are selected. Uh, now, if I press and hold my odd even button, it brings up my selection toolbar. Uh, and we've always had things like obviously odd even, segments, etc. We've added chunks here now. Now segments, before I get to chunks, segments allows me if I go twos, threes, fours, etc. you can see um, it takes to say the first two, three or four, and when I hit next head, would select then the next four, the next four, etc. as you can see on my screen here. Now chunks uh, starts from the first fixture. Uh, so in two chunks, it says, okay, well, I've got 12 spots, split them into two, the first six and the second six. So in two chunks, I can go next head, and next head and it splits in two. Now the nice thing about chunks is if you record groups, um, it knows what it's based from. So watch this. Uh, if I've got my group of 12 spots in group seven here, and I've got my chunk set to two, which as you can see obviously is the first six and the next six. So I'm gonna record the first six uh, to group 40 here. Uh, and I'm gonna go next head. Uh, and I'm gonna record that uh, to group 41 here. You can see it actually names that for me. It's taken it off 
the name here, spots, and it's called it C1, C2, chunk one, chunk two. I've split into two chunks. And now it's, it's a little bit clever because it's based on what's in that main group. So if things change, if I go to my uh, main group here, uh, group seven, and I go to view heads and I change what's in the group. You know, maybe I'm morphing for the next venue, or maybe you know, I have an issue of one of the fixtures, so I want to drop, say, a pair of fixtures off. So I'm going to go and do exactly that. I'm going to take out head 104 and 109. Uh, and then I'm going to go to view groups and I'm going to re-record that group. Uh, and you can see it's going to drop two of the heads off. It's just in 10 heads in there. You can see when I select the group here now, if I clear and select it, it's dropped off those two heads. Now, if I go and select group 40, you can see it's clever. It's worked that out. It says, OK, well, you need to drop these heads as well. It's dropped those off. Now, if I dropped off two heads on the left side, uh, it would also it would see, work out you've got 10 heads. Take the first. Uh, I've, take, I've got eight heads now or, so, or whatever. If I've got eight, it would take the first four and the second four. So it's clever about how it knows it's related back to the master group and how it needs to split things. Um, so yeah, there's chunks uh, now available in 1970 beta. What else have we added? We've now added linked groups. Linked groups is a great one again for when programming changes. I'm going to rebuild my group seven quickly. Uh, so I'm going to put 101 uh, through 112 at at, select them and just put them back into group seven. So I've got all 12 spots there. I'm going to quickly make a copy of that into group 43 here and just label that. So set that here and call that spots. Uh, link groups uh, allows me then again to have things linked back to a master group. So I'm going to select group 43 and go to my odd even toolbar and select, say, the odds. And I'm going to record that as a group, then hit it again, take the evens, record that as a group here. Uh, so these are linked, as you can see, it says at the top here, 6L, six heads linked, six heads linked. Um, so, of course, give me uh, my odds and evens, as I'd expect. But linked groups link back to the master group. So you can completely change the source of what's in that group now. So you can see I'm using heads at the top here in the master group, 101 through 112. If I now grab the profiles, which you can see on the screen, highlighted different fixtures, head numbers 113 to 120. And I record those into the main master group 43 here. So I've got the profiles in here. You can see the numbers changed. Okay, there's eight heads now in that group as expected, but in the subgroups, it's got four and they're linked back here, odds and evens. So it takes the same selection order, odds or evens, but looks at the contents of your master group. So again, it means you can change uh, what's in the group. Now this works very well, of course, with group queues and we've covered group queues uh, in some of our other tutorials, group queues we launched uh, about 18 months ago, very powerful, uh, different way of programming. Uh, so that's some of the highlights in our 1970 version available for download now.